Hey guys, how are we all doing? I hope we are well. Oh, welcome to all my lovely subscribers, old, new, and in between. And if you've yet to subscribe, maybe this video might just change your mind. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hey, there you are, guys. Thank you for coming back. We are on the greens and the vaguely bluishes. Um, now, I've already been through my yellows and my goldens. So if you haven't, you've just come in kind of cold and wondering what I'm doing. I'm talking about all the different colours I've been able to achieve by various different combinations of what we see here. I've got a video that I've already spoken about that gives me more information. And I've got another video about why I'm doing this in the first place. So if you haven't found, you haven't watched either of those, you might want to help give a bit of context. But if you're just here to see what colours you can create from different types of tea, this is your place. Now, I didn't think I was going to be able to achieve any greens. Um, I was expecting greens to come out as a standard green tea. <laughs> no, not at all. But I found combining hibiscus, the echinacea and hibiscus colour with some of these teas, I've actually been able to achieve some really nice greens. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I have some slightly different sizes of um, scraps. I was just working through the scraps that I had um, in the first place. Um, so don't don't worry too much about that. So first off here is hibiscus. I've written the combination down with peppermint. Now this is a really lovely light light green. Uh, like a, almost like a spring mint green or something like that. It has dyed slightly weirdly. There's a couple of darker patches. I'm going to stick some photos up because I I don't think any of this is going to show up in any. It's not going to show up in its true form. But yeah, it dyed it dyes slightly oddly because I think it was so wet and the dye hasn't been able to kind of dis, um, disperse properly. It's not that much of a problem. Um, so yeah, that is the first of the greens. I then decided to get a little bit crazy and I decided to do green tea, chamomile tea, and hibiscus. Yeah, okay. Um, it's a bit greener again, very, very soft, very, very mild. Um, if you want looking for something like that, this is a nice colour. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice. I like it. Um, but I wanted to see what else I could achieve. Um, so I decided to go with hibiscus and rooibos, wondering what I could get with that. Um, hibiscus is a strange colour. It seems to nullify a lot of other colours, which blew my mind a little bit. I was expecting it to be, when you put it in the water, it's a deep purple, like a pink no, no. So this is what hibiscus with rooibos looks like. Green. I think the blue in there somehow helped. I don't know. It's all alchemy to me. But again, it's a kind of a nice softish green. There is a slight difference. There's a slight readiness to this one than there is to the other one slightly warmer. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. And then we decided to go for hibiscus and green tea. And yay, look, I got green. I got green. It's slightly dyed funny again in different patches. I think this is just a bad, a bad mordanting job. Um, but yeah, that's a really, it's a nice green again. It's a slightly sagey-ish green. Um, I think this will probably sage down a bit more as it goes maybe through the wash. Um, but yeah, look at that. Not bad. Now, my favourite green. Oh, I cannot believe I managed to achieve this green. I am so, so happy. Isn't that lovely? This is uh, hibiscus and hibiscus and chamomile. And this is the colour I'm going for for my main dress. I love it. I don't have a green in my wardrobe like this. And it, it is green. It's a lightish green. I think it will silver down a bit as it gets washed. I may have to do... I may have to do a second dye job. I'm probably not going to because that's going to be too much of a hassle. But I really, really love this. And I can't believe I was able to achieve such green. Now, I said I said I was blue in there as well. Uh, blue is not a colour I've been able to achieve naturally with any of these combinations. But we can see here with this made from blackberry and blueberry infusion. This initially was very purple. Um, I thought I, I spilt something on it, so I tried washing it. Um, and I ended up having to wash it completely. And as anybody knows, with a red, cause that red colour just doesn't want to stay. No matter how professional it is, you dye your hair red. If you put some socks in the washing machine in the, in the white wash, you know the mistake you're going to make. So the red washed out of this, but it came down to this really nice silvery blue. Um, and I really, really like that. And it really complements well, I think, with the, um, the green that I created that I'm going to use. So I'm going to be using this blue 
with this green to make my dress which will be seen in a different video in the future so now it's a very short video again that is it guys and that is another colorway one more colorway to come purples oh yes and i've got quite a few of those as you can see my rabbit hole was very deep but there we go take care guys bye bye